Okay, let's give this another cast to sweep. See the camp is in the green. The cast is in the green. I'm blocking it. Point to this, the total toe is within spec. But the toe itself is off. So usually that means um, the steering wheel would be off center to one side. So let's give it an adjustment. And then I'll take you under the car and show you what, what I'm actually doing. Okay, let's see before measurements. Ready, just tow. I centered the steering wheel when I got out. Okay, now this is the passenger side of the car. I'm looking to bring the arrow right to the center. So, let me bring it over and we'll see what we got. Unfortunately, I can't videotape this and me under the car at the same time. screen is set up, you're looking for zero. That don't mean that's what the spec is, but the way the screen is. According to that, it's off, so I'm going to go in the car and set the steering wheel. If it lands right on that dot, that means we're good. If not, we'll be redoing it.
I'll bet send it in the cards. Oh, just a tad. Probably wouldn't even notice it, but you know what? Let's sweep it again. Ah, uh, you see it's not going to let me go in. Yeah, it's going to this inspector in the green, so they consider it good. You see the steer head is very slightly off. You never noticed that while driving. And usually when you're within these parameters, it's fine. So, now let me show you what I was under there adjusting. Hopefully we can see it. Okay, here's a little control arm on this car. It's not V-shaped, it just has one point right here that mounted. And then they have what they call, it's hard to see with this camera, a strut rod going back. So, if you look at it like this, the more I lengthen this rod, the more the little control arm goes forward, the more positive caster I'll get. Now, by jacking the back of this car up five inches, okay, that actually put the arm backwards towards the back of the car and gave me a negative cast. It was negative two point something. So we had to move it quite a bit. And basically how you do that is to lengthen it, you just loosen the back nut, tighten the front nut, and bring it out. That's for positive, for negative would be the opposite. Now, for me to do the camber, let's see if we can get in there and see it. Up here, there's a nut and bolt with a bushing and an eccentric and basically you loosen the nut on the opposite side which I have everything lubed you loosen the nut and on this side this is actually splined to the eccentric you turn it and it brings the control arm in and out leaning the bottom of the tire in or out when it comes in it's positive when it goes out it's negative okay then the toe spec that you saw me doing is the old style with the collar and the two clamps the reason these are a little more tricky is you have double the amount of threads like a turnbuckle. So if you're used to just doing, um, just turning the tie rod or the inner tie rod, it's half the speed of this. So that's why you see, you saw how slow it was for me to do it. Because if I do it as quick as I'm used to doing it, it just jumps all over the screen. Um, I lubed everything up before I started. Like I said, it's a clean, solid car. So. According to the screen, we should be good. Well, that's it. The alignment's done. And I know you can't see the steering wheel, but this thing rides perfectly straight.